Welcome back, everyone. You have certainly likely seen this video here that's playing beside us, either online or here on our newscast of a man jumping on a mother's car and kicking in her back windshield with her two young children in the back seat. The assault didn't end there. The man pointed a gun at her and even headbutted her with his helmet on. Two strangers who saw the video felt compelled to act. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcelo Bayardo caught up with them and shares what they felt they had to do for this mom. I felt like who else was going to do it? I felt like it was just my calling. That calling led glass technician Otto Hernandez and cafe owner Thomas Montgomery to gift Bullock a brand new window after enduring a tense moment in Center City over the weekend while her kids were in the back seat. Once you see the kids, it's like, oh my God, there's kids in the car. Um, I think that was for me was like when I feel like I needed to step in and help out a little bit. Watching Bullock stand up for herself while a gun was pointed at her and carry her kids from out of the car were images that stuck with Hernandez. She didn't even fear fear itself, but fear was in her face. That's the love of a mother's child. On Tuesday, the two friends invited Bullock and her family to Hernandez's shop, where they captured the process. The glass was prepped, cleaned, and put into her car. And while the family waited, Montgomery served up some food from his North Philly breakfast spot, the Wiz Cafe. I'm from this city, and you see so much negative and bad. You know, now you see two people just reaching out and saying, "Hey, we got you." It's a repair that Otto says could cost anywhere from $200 to $500. But for Bullock, it's free. Both say it's not about the money. Rather, it's about inspiring a sense of unity throughout the city. She looked me dead in my eyes and she told me that she'll never forget me. And it was a very touching moment for me because it just felt like all the uh, struggles and hardships that I'd, I've had to get to this moment was all worth it. Making sure no one struggles alone. Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.